Right, so here is our initial reaction to some of the games in the second window. So we did our first video, now this is the second video. So some of the games we're gonna talk about is the Notre Dame game, the Iowa game, the Wisconsin game, the Kentucky game, and the Utah game. So we're gonna go through a few of these one at a time. I didn't get to watch each one of these all the way through. You know, some we were watching more than others, but we're gonna just talk about the score. So Wisconsin over South Dakota, 27-13. This was your typical Wisconsin game. You know, at, off the jump, I thought the spread was safe. I thought they were certainly going to cover the spread, and they just were unable to do it because this is just what Wisconsin does. They get up, they get, you know, things look all bad for them, and then they bring it back, and that's what they did here. A win's a win, but certainly you would like to see a more dominant one. The Iowa, uh, Iowa State game was a fantastic game. Two really good defenses, but it's just shocking that Iowa found a way to lose this game. It's not to take anything away from Iowa State, because Iowa State, they played their heart out, and they just defensively, especially, and then to come away with it at the end on that game-winning field goal is crazy. But Iowa it just does make sense. I mean, seriously, the, the offense of Iowa, there were multiple, multiple plays you felt like, okay, this is going to break it open, and their inability to play in the red zone was the biggest one. Um. You know, I just, like I said, I just do not understand what was going on with Iowa today. It was, you know, it's it's to be expected because Iowa plays in these ugly games. But you just felt like they really dominated three and a half quarters. You felt like even in the red zone, they were there and they just were unable to put them away. And then Iowa State came away with the win. South Carolina, Kentucky. South Carolina's putting their name on the map here. You know, now we don't know from these first two games that they're going to be super good, but they had a dominant win on the road, 31-6. to There was a moment in this game, you know, when it was 7 nothing, then it went to 10 nothing, then they got two, then Kentucky got two field goals, so it was 10-6, and you figured, okay, maybe Kentucky's going to turn the corner here. But then 31-6 to ending, I mean, they really, you know, they scored 21 unanswered, just dominated them on really both ends of the ball. And uh, that's a huge, huge win for South Carolina. Now we'll see if they can continue going through, but what a dominant win. And in the final game we're going to talk about, well, because we'll, we'll, actually, let's go through Baylor and Utah first. And this was an ugly game. Cam Rising got hurt somewhere again in this game, but they did end up pulling it out. But it was kind of weird because it looked like a lot of points, 17 nothing Utah in the first. One of those was a... Um, a blocked kick, which happened in the second second quarter. They blocked the kick. So they were actually up. Let me look here. They were actually up 23-0 in this game. And they finished 23-12 to after Cam Rising ended up getting hurt. So, like I said, this game was an ugly game, although it didn't start all that ugly. Utah looked dominant. Baylor made their way back into it. But it was just too little, too late in a sense, because the fourth quarter, no points were scored at all. And Utah came out with a win. That's all you're looking for, but certainly 23 to 12, big win for Utah, was an ugly one though. And then the big game, the biggest one to talk about is Notre Dame versus NIU. What a performance by NIU and Notre Dame. I don't even know how to put into words what this game looked like because NIU just battled and Notre Dame just did not look like they were efficient at all. You know, they did not look like they were dialed in on what they wanted to do. They just It just seemed like they had opportunity after opportunity, but when the other team you're playing is playing harder, when they're playing more together, when they're just making the plays, it's tough to beat them. And like I said, there was a chance. They were, just, they were down 13-7. to Notre Dame comes, they scores 14-13. to That was the moment that Notre Dame should have shut the door on NIU. They were unable to do it, and now NIU is winning. We're going to do some videos on that because it was crazy. What a win that was. So that's our initial reaction to these second slate of games. We'll give you our third one later tonight. But great football all around.